Welcome back to Breaking Changes, where we highlight what's going on in the Kiskit universe. I'm your host, Nick Braun. Boy, do we have some features for you today. But first, let's start with the release of the Kiskit 0.39 meta package, which includes some major updates with an upgrade to Terra 0.22. Kiskit Air, which provides high-performance quantum computing simulators with realistic noise models, has been moved to a new namespace in preparation for its removal from the Kiskit meta package. Users may continue using Air by first installing it with pip install Kiskit Air. Unlike Air's companions Aqua and Ignis, it is not being deprecated itself, just moving outside the Kiskit meta package. In other deprecation news now, the Shore and HHL classes begin their schedule to be removed from the Kiskit.algorithms module and will be removed no sooner than three months from now. Details for implementing these algorithms remain in the Kiskit textbook, with links to each below. And we have a breaking change alert for the transpiler. From now on, approximation degree equals 1.0 is the default setting, preventing users from accidentally breaking unitary equivalents when using optimization level 3. Furthermore, users wishing to make use of the unitary approximations will have to put in a number less than 1.0, with 0.0, .0 or none being the maximum level of approximation up to the specific backend's error rate. And now let's move to our features section. Also starting with the transpiler, with Terra.22, custom transpiler stages can now be inserted from external plugins. This flexibility follows the recent ability for users to adapt their own pass manager by specifying the stages of transpilation. Let's take a look. After importing the necessary libraries, let's construct a circuit consisting of a bunch of CNOTs. Now, using our backend as fake Vigo, we can insert the tokum or time-optimized qubit mapping into our routing method at optimization level 2 and see that it achieves a routing that we desire. The transpiler's saber swap routing pass has been refactored using Rust, allowing performance improvements based on multithreading. Due to these improvements, it replaces stochastic swap as a default for optimization levels 1 and 2 as well. Here are the performance improvements between Kiskit 0.21.2 and 0.22, quite substantial as one can see. The transpiler optimization levels 0 and 1 have been enhanced to support dynamic circuits. This means if your circuit has control flow, such as an if-then statement, the branches can now be optimized. Our final feature, the algorithms module, now supports runtime primitives. Users can now implement standard VQE, the gradient submodule, QAOA, and a new state fidelity interface while taking advantage of executing workloads efficiently using either the sampler or estimator primitives. Let's take a look. We'll start by importing the necessary libraries. VQE from our algorithms, SPSA as our optimizer, real amplitudes as our onsots. We'll use the estimator primitive and we'll build our operator from the quantum info sparse polyop method. Inserting the estimator into our VQE now uses the state vector simulator to compute the expectation value of the ground state now. And we can see it's here at minus 2. And lastly, let's thank the Kiskit contributors that made this stable release possible. I've been your host, Nick Braun, and thank you for dealing with the breaking changes.